Good morning guys, happy Thursday. I hope you're doing well. I am so, oh look, Ruben has stripped himself out of his jammies, ready for mama to get him ready. Um, yeah, happy Thursday. I am so glad it is Thursday. It has been one of those weeks, like, because I work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and it's just been one of those weeks where I couldn't get ahead. Like, life, work life was a little bit busy this week. There's like some legislation stuff that I've got to process before the end of the year on top of all my normal workload. And it just felt like for every email I sent, I got six back. <laughs> and it was like, you just couldn't catch up with anything. And I hate that whole thing where you're like, you feel like you're chasing your tail continuously. Um, to the point where when Ruben went to bed last night, I sat and did another two hours of emails. Um, and depending on how today goes, uh, I may have to go, I might go back on and do someone who has his afternoon nap today. Just, that's if we get an afternoon nap. It's just, technically you're working for free, but you're making your, I, it, it will make my Monday easier. Do you know what I mean? So, I'm helping myself. That's what my brain says anyway. But yes, good morning, happy Thursday. Um, John has gone to work. Ruben and I are going to toddler club. Um, apparently, I think they said they're starting Christmas decorations in the craft section this week. Like we did bonfire last week, bonfire pictures, and are now apparently everything is Christmas. So, that should be fun. But yeah, um, I've got a sink full of dishes, but no hot water. Um, so that will have to be done when we get back. My hair is all, like so dark and rootish, it's offensive. I'm kind of tempted to just chuck a pink over it. Because a pink will only take on the blonde. But it'll just give it a bit of a zhuzh before I get around to doing, doing my roots. I don't know. Anyway, I haven't got time to yabber on like this. I need to get us ready for Topper Club dressed and practically ready to go i put far too much uh, highlight on so now i've got a sweaty nose ruben's outfit is uber cute um he has got this little ralph lauren like thin hoodie and um, river island dungarees i love the blimmin river island river island the next dungarees are awesome for ruben because he needs the length but there's not a whole lot of fabric around the waist um somehow i have a skinny kid it's like every time he puts a bit of weight on he has another growth spurt. It's crazy. Um, all secondhand. Kids clothes, like high quality kids clothes, are so expensive. Uh, and they grow out of them so quick. eBay is a mama's best friend. But yeah. He looks super cute. Um, right. <sighs> I've got to do stuff. <laughs> and we're ready to go. I've got everything done. Ruben's got his coat bag packed, food bank bag done, radio on, dog food done. Yes, let's go. <laughs> They've got puppies on today. They're wearing their puppies. And we're home and I got caught in the rain walking up to the taxi. But we're fine. Ruben has decided he wants to lie behind the sofa. Um, I've left Classic FM on. We put that on for the dogs when we go out. Um, I think we might be getting ready to go for a nap. But he's just he's took it, taken a cushion off the sofa and gone and laid behind it. Cool. But no, Toddler Club was good. Not very many there this week, but it isn't the greatest weather. Um, but it's still nice. Um, they have a trainee vicar 
there who's lovely and Ruben loves him um, and uh, yeah I think I got a video basically of him <laughs> throwing Ruben around the room which Ruben loved but yeah good session then went for lunch with our friends and then picked up a couple of bits um, and then yeah, home now I think we're both ready for a nap but I'm gonna try and coerce Ruben into going to sleep and uh, yeah then I might have some lunch because when I say we went for lunch Reuben had lunch Reuben had lunch I had a coffee so I am ready for some food but I'm going to try and get Reuben down for a nap first he went down so easily today but he ran around like a crazy thing so that's great right I'm going to show you what I picked up but then I'm going to make myself some soup warm myself up some soup and then I'm gonna do some work I don't work Thursdays but uh, yeah let's show you what I got okay so from Iceland got these Cathedral City cheese and balsamic onion that word bread um, which is the reason why I also had to buy this and this is basically gonna be lunch it wasn't the lunch I was meant to have a sandwich today but this sounds good to me and then I bought some muffins because as they didn't have any yesterday I got halloumi because I forgot to get that at Rasta and then Reuben picked himself up some Milky Bar Festive Friends um, from the card factory not quite sure what this does I don't want to pull the label out but I think it flashes lights and then we got one of these as well Reuben had one of these last year he freaking loved it Basically, you press the button and it lights up and spins. But again, it's got one of those tabs on to save the battery. But yeah, we've got one of those. And then from Wilco, some chews for the dogs, some stickers for Reuben, and a giant thing of dry shampoo. Reuben has been in bed for like an hour and 40 minutes. It looks like we might get the full two hour nap today. Whoop whoop. God bless Toddler Club. Um, I finished work, or finished the work I wanted to finish, which means I'm done until Monday. I don't have to think about it or worry about it. It's weird, like, anyone else's job gives them a bit of anxiety. I'm not sure if it's actually my job or my own self that does it. Like, the work ethic that my parents installed um, in me is just a little bit over the top. It's like... I kind of feel like I'm squeezing a full-time job into three days and then quite regularly do these freebies where I'm working on my day off. But I don't, maybe my workload is a little bit heavy, but then it, it will calm down. It kind of peaks and troughs, isn't it? When, you know, there's legal stuff that has to be done, it has to be done. But yeah, I don't have to stress about work now until Monday. Darwin and Gilly are not my friends. Darwin got wet outside in the garden. And he kind of came in and looked at me as if to say, how dare you let me get wet? How dare you let me get wet? And I'm like, mate, it's raining, what can I do? But yeah, so Darwin is doing that thing where he's like rubbing his whole body um, against the sofa. Fabulous, means the sofa cover needs to be washed. Um, I'd put a towel on him, but he won't accept it. He's like, he doesn't like the towel, he's scared of the towel. So yeah, that one is going a little bit crazy because it got wet in the garden. But yeah, I think I might have a coffee and hopefully enjoy the next 20 minutes of peace until Ruben wakes up. <laughs> you got a den, Ruben. If you move it, it might fall. Ma. Yes, Baba. Yeah. Hello, it's Mr. Reuben. Um, we just slept for two hours and ten minutes, which hasn't happened in forever. Um, and then the plan for this afternoon, we had this like remembrance reef craft thing from Baker Ross to make. Um, but he's been all cuddly and cute and. 
just wanted to hold my hand all afternoon so we've literally sat on the sofa and held hands and sang songs and watched baby tv um so not very good vlog content not even sure if it's good parenting to be fair because letting him watch the off tv all afternoon because he's being cute <laughs> it's probably a parenting fail but it felt adorable so we've not done anything um and it's about 25 20 minutes and it should be probably ruben's tea time um john should be home soon uh yeah oh i haven't put any washing on yet and i need to so i'm gonna do that now hey guys um it's a bit later now uh ruben is in bed john's home uh, I just blocked a rather nasty person off of my YouTube channel um, for putting comments. And it's like, if you don't like me, don't watch. And I was like, actually, if you don't like me, I'm going to block you and then you can't watch. <laughs> Problem solved. They're happy because they haven't got to listen to my whiny voice or question my parenting. And I don't have to see their opinion. Like, you can have an opinion, just don't tell me. Don't. Just don't. Anyway, I'm gonna cook chicken nuggets and chips for me and John. And it's tea time, and uh, basically we have got chicken nuggets and chips for tea. <laughs> um, oven chips, chicken nuggets, flatbread, salad. I'm currently drinking a 7-Up cherry thing. Uh, Nando's garlic piri piri mayonnaise it was meant to be southern fried chicken but it got substituted for plain but i think that's going to be fine and that is bedtime i still can't quite bring myself to take the pumpkins down i think i'm just going to leave them till the christmas decks go up oh, my mummy vase um <laughs> my mum my mum painted that uh yeah so we had tea, uh, we watched yesterday's PMQs, and then we watched the latest Russell Howard with Greta, I always say her surname wrong, Thumbuck, the 19 year old actress, she was so interesting, really interesting, but yeah, it is time for bed, Ruben had such a lovely day today, um, like I feel like almost every Thursday I do like a bit of a data dump of our day, on Instagram and yeah he had a good day to our little ribbon but uh, I'm pooped and I'm ready for bed bye guys